We are all contingent, dependent realities. Everything is dependent. I can't stop breathing now for 10 minutes. I will die. I can't stop eating food or drinking water for a week. I will die. I am so much dependent on all the substance around me. You know, I have to really humble and say, look, I'm not independent. Everything that you can see here, everything else is decaying, will die, will perish. It's like programmed to die. They're not independent. They're not self-subsisting. All of that essentially must rely and dependent, depend on something that is con in, not contingent, that is independent, has to be. Otherwise, you cannot explain the existence of dependent things. You have to now rationally explain yeah, I don't how believe, do... I don't think that that depends on an independent being. Absolutely. How can it depend on itself? Can I give I mean, life to myself when I was non-existent? The universe itself is, is, is non-dependent. Like, everything is impermanent. Eventually, Sorry? everything is impermanent. In the end, it will all come to an end. Yeah. So if everything is dependent, perishable, decayable, how do you explain the existence of dependent things? What does it depend on? How did it even come into existence? How do dependent things come into existence? How did I or this world come into existence? For example, 200 years ago, I wasn't in existence, for sure. I didn't exist. I'm not 200 years old. So when I was not, ex not existing, I couldn't have given life and existence to myself when I was not there. Yeah. So when you have all of these things which are dependent, how did they come into existence? We have an intelligent, reasonable, rational answer. A necessary being, which is independent, absolute, has to be. If, for me, the, the solution isn't, isn't found through faith, it's found That's not faith. Science. As I said, did I even mention the word faith? This is reasonable, rational, and intellectual inference. If you are going to use sound intellect, this is the time to use it. Now tell us, how do you explain the existence of anything? And yet this existence is dependent and contingent. Why isn't there nothing? Why, why isn't there nothing? Why does it require an, ex an explanation through a god or a, an, in, an independent being? Everything, I, I everything. But it, it's, it, I'm interested to know as uh, what kind of being do you expect? Do you envision a, a humanoid being? Or is it a metaphysical essence of, of God? A, a necessary being is unlike anything that you can imagine. Will be free from all deficiencies and weaknesses and all limitations. Because otherwise it will be the same on the same boat, like dependent and finite and limited. Yeah? So it has to be by necessity independent, absolute. And if you have an independent and absolute entity and reality, that absolute being by necessity must possess certain characteristics because the creation is already here. One of these characteristics is power or energy. Because without power and energy, we can't do anything, right? Physics is all about working out how much power and so on. Without power and energy, nothing can happen. The fact that the universe is here and is transforming, the energy is transforming itself and conserving itself maybe in, in, in an ecosystem, it means there is a being that possesses energy. So that necessary being will be a possessor of energy, but also another, another attribute or quality. The attribute or quality of self-awareness. So this necessary being is self-aware and with intent and will brought this transformation. Because without a will or an intent or choice, nothing like this will happen. Transformation won't happen. Like imagine now, I don't intend to do anything. Then nothing will happen. I won't be able to speak. I won't be able to move. I won't be able to converse with you. But if I intend to do something, then I will speak. I will listen and so on. So this choice is inherently there with the essential necessary being. Without the choice, this creation would not come into existence because creation is an act or an effect of that cause which we call the necessary existence.